Hey guys, so I'm going to be covering another tutorial today which somebody suggested and somebody wanted to know how to do um, a moving platform or an elevator. So you can see it in my scene here that you know there's nothing crazy. Here's my platform that we want to get to, and here's like the elevator. So my elevator is just made up of an actual rectangle with another rectangle with a sort of red button on it. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to create a, a script for that red button, but before I do that, you can see that I've got my platform that's an object to my elevator and it's just I parented the two other objects which were this and this to the elevator so what we want to actually do is make animations for this elevator so it'll go up and then from being up it'll go down so we click on the elevator and if you go to window animation then what we want to do is you make sure you've got your elevator selected if you press record then what we're going to do is actually make a new animation so if I just go into my elevator folder and make this and call it up then what I'm going to do is select my transform so if I click transform it selects all the transform units then what I'm going to do is create a keyframe of the first frame and then a keyframe a, um, a, a second in to the animation what I'm going to do is use um, the green arrow and just pull it up you know roughly to the top and that's it so when you press play you know you'll get that now that's it for the up animation and then from here where you can see it says up we'll go and create new clip and then we'll call this down and then we'll save that out and like we did before we'll press the record button we'll click on transforms we select all the um, options I will actually set a new keyframe at the top and bring the arrow all the way up to roughly where we had it before go across scrub across to one second and then bring this down roughly to you know the floor and then we'll close the animation window and I'll bring that into my elevator folder and you'll notice that the two animations are on my mesh now so if you click on your elevator you'll notice there's up and down untick play automatically so we don't want to play it as soon as we do anything and then what we're going to do is we're going to create a new script and then call this lift and then what we'll do is open up the lift script in mono develop and then what I'm going to actually do we're going to create two private variables one called pressed button and set that to type boolean equal to false another variable called is elevator up colon boolean equals false and then variable target as type game object and then what we're going to do is write a function on mouse over two brackets then two curly brackets and then say pressed button equals true and then I'll copy this same function paste it in down below and have it as on mouse exit and set pressed button equal to false and then what we're going to write under there is function on GUI with two brackets then two curly brackets and then say if um, pressed button is equal to true then gui.box open brackets new rect then we can say 300 comma 300 comma 200 comma 20 close that bracket put a comma and then add in quotes press to use lift and then end that and put a semicolon um, now what we want to do is actually that will just bring up a, a message to say that you can use it when you've hovered over the button now what I want to actually do is when you click on that button you actually do something so now we'll write a function on mouse down um, and then add the two curly brackets and we're going to say that if and then what I'll do is copy this function so I spell it I mean this variable so I spell it right and say if is elevator up is equal to false then add two girly brackets and we're going to say target equals game object 
dot find open brackets quotations elevator close that up and then we'll say target dot animation dot play open the brackets and then write your animation of what it was called so it was called up close that up and then what I'll say that is and then I'll paste in is elevator up and set that equal to true so that means if elevator is up so if it's not up then we'll find the game object elevator we'll find the animation and we'll play it and then we'll set um, is elevator up to true so then we can go down again then under here we'll write else add two curly brackets and then say pretty much the same thing so we'll paste it in again and say that this one equals down and then elevator up equals false and then we'll save that minimize this and then what I'll do is add that to the button so add the script to the button and then make sure that you add your elevator game object to this but this button script to so the target there and then we'll press play and you'll notice that when I go up to my thing you'll say press to use the lift so we'll click it once we'll go up and then we're on the top platform we'll click it again and we'll go back down and you know as long as you click it you know you can go up go away and only if you click it again will the actual button you know let you do it so that's pretty much the simplicity of it all just using animations and a simple bit of script to control when you pressed up to set boolean's true and false um, so that's pretty much it and that's all you need to really know about this so thanks very much for watching and as ever if you like the tutorial don't forget to like comment and subscribe cheers